this is an interview for my Intro to the Modern Middle East course. Um, do you consent to be interviewed? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Um, so the first question is, do you think Islam as a belief system is oppressive towards women? If so, why or how is it oppressive, in your opinion? Yes, I, w I do think it is oppressive to women. And from what I understand, a woman is called to be obedient to their men and they're not allowed to do a lot of things. They're not allowed to be really well educated and have to be more subservient to their husbands. Where, uh, where have you heard, heard this information? From people that know about it, from on the news. Okay, so like the media, from um, spread of word. From students. Okay. Um, do you think that Muslim women need to be rescued or empowered by secular Western countries or secular Western values? Not necessarily. I mean, unless they specifically ask us to step in and help them, I would say no. Okay. Um, so what are some ways that we should empower women in general, or Muslim women in specific? Uh, they should be as educated as I'd like to be. They okay. should be able to work in the fields they would like to be in, mm -hmm. be obedient to, and... Mm -hmm. Um, do you think the ideas of um, feminism and uh, Islam are contradictory, or do you think they're possible? Do you think Islamic feminism is a contradictory term, or is it possible? I think anything's possible. If people in the field want to and try, strive for it, they should. We will eventually get there. Do you think that um, it's possible that? Um, well, how do you think this is possible? Like what? What to you would Islamic feminism look like? Well, they would be able to pretty much come and go as they please and get, get the education that they would like and uh, not have to obey rules about marrying and how many children they have or specific ways to live. I mean, they should just get generally be able to have a lot of freedoms that we have here in the United States. Okay, thank you for your interview. Um, this interview is for my Introduction to the Modern Middle East course. Do you agree to be interviewed? Yes. Okay. Um, the first question is, do you think Islam as a belief system is oppressive towards women? Um, if you think so, why or how is it oppressive? Um, so I think you would want to make a distinction between the religion and the people practicing the religion who, who have certain norms. So I don't think the, the religion itself is oppressive towards women in terms of how it's interpreted and practiced and how it's embedded within culture. Okay. Um, do you think that um, women in, say, exa for example, in the Middle East um, need to be rescued or empowered by secular Western countries or secular Western value values in quotations. <laughs> uh, no, I think I think there is definitely oppression of women in the Middle East, but I think there are many ways you can you can uh, kind of address that problem. So, you know, uh, probably the most effective way would be if it comes in, if if the solution comes from within. Internally, um, right. rather than having some other foreign culture kind of impose its own uh, approach onto the country. Yeah. Um, do you think Do you think secularism guarantees women's empowerment and necessarily gives women a higher status than a governmental system which uses a particular religion to inspire its laws and policies? No, I mean you, you can have like China's secular, right? And there's a lot of oppression. So I think the whole issue of her being oppression and being secular, I think there are, there are different issues. I okay. think there are advantages to being secular, but mm -hmm. you know, just because you're secular doesn't mean you can't have oppression in any given group in society. Okay. Um, last question. 
Is Islamic feminism, the term Islamic feminism, is it a contradictory term or is it possible? And is it useful? So you can think of religion almost kind of like a U.S. constitution. So, you know, you can interpret it in the time, you, you can interpret it in different ways. And um, so to answer your question very succinctly, I think it's, I think it's possible. Mm -hmm. I'm not an Islamic scholar, but <laughs> from on my, you know, lay person understanding of the religion, I think it's compatible with there being, you know, freedom of both genders. And um, I just think that uh, hopefully things will move in that direction. I think there's definitely an assumption of women in, in that place still um, throughout the world. But there it seems to be uh, more pronounced and mm. brought up more. In what ways does it seem more to be more pronounced there? Oh, well, you know, you can take extreme examples like Saudi Arabia. Like okay. I think in Saudi Arabia, women aren't even allowed to drive. Yeah, that's, that is um, true. So I mean, that's a very clear example. Um, and Saudi Arabia is not a poor I think that there, you know, the um, they couldn't be educated beyond a certain level either, um, but you you'd probably need more levels of foundation. But things like that. Um, so, um, in, yeah. So that that's probably just the clearest example. All right. Thank you. That's all. all right. <laughs> that's all the time we have. Thank Very you. Good.